Iraq has recently announced plans to end its currency auctions by the end of 2024. These auctions have been a key feature of Iraq's monetary policy for years, aimed at stabilizing the Iraqi dinar and managing foreign exchange reserves. However, they have also faced criticism for fostering corruption and creating a black market for dollars. Ending these auctions signifies a major shift in Iraq's approach to managing its currency and economy. One significant change accompanying the end of currency auctions is the need for Iraqi banks to establish relationships with global and regional banks. This development is crucial because it allows Iraq to integrate more deeply into the international banking system. For years, Iraqi banks have operated in relative isolation, hindering the country's economic growth. By building these banking relationships, Iraq can facilitate robust trade and investment flows, which are essential for economic revitalization. To successfully establish these relationships, Iraqi banks must accept Article 7 of the International Monetary Fund's Articles of Agreement. This article represents a commitment to avoiding restrictions on currency exchange for international trade and financial transactions.